What's up, pom pom people? Got kind of bad news here, but uh, here's the road where we're planning to revisit that pom pom. And look, they've come up. Uh, you know, they got to do this every couple years. It's not their fault, but they've come with a uh, piece of heavy equipment and started uh, kind of lopping down the trees on the side here. And look right exactly where they stopped. Miraculously, that's one of the pom pom trees, and this is where the you know where what they've cut and cut down has stopped and there is fruit on this and it's not ripe yet so this might kind of mess up my plans let me find where it's at there is one fruit i already looked <laughs> now i can't find it where is it it's on here somewhere but this isn't the main one. I'm going to actually pause this video and walk down to the other one. Hopefully they'll be ripe. Oh, the leaves smell so good. Where is that fruit? Okay, there it is. There's one fruit, and it's still pretty hard. So let me pause this video and go down to where the other ones are. Take a look at them. This is the beauty berry, just for real quick, since I'm walking by. You can see that the edges of these leaves are serrated, where the pawpaw is smooth. And um, they're pretty much straight across from each other. Opposite uh, where the pawpaw is, is the other way around, where they're staggered. I'm just going to keep on walking, if you all don't mind. Just down this little road right here. And you can see they haven't touched this embankment with that machinery. But that doesn't mean they won't. And this has kind of been my luck for the last couple years. Every time I find them, <laughs> they build a subdivision on top of them. And I gotta go figure something else out. And sure enough, uh, a lot of times, a lot of times they'll do this on the side of the roads too, which is fine. I mean, they gotta do what they gotta do. They don't know what's here. Uh, here's this other tree, pawpaw tree, bush, whatever you wanna call it. I say a different thing every video that I make. I'll call it something different, but yeah, I guess it's a bush, shrub, something like that. It's a really pretty one, but let's just say, I don't think there's any fruit on this one. We're going to go farther down. It's kind of cool. I don't really do too many walking videos. Let's see. You guys can hear the hawk in the background. See another thing. See where you... This is a beauty berry again. See the size of the leaves? They don't look the same. But when you're driving down the road and you're just, especially if you're driving, they really do look similar. So this is just what the wilderness looks like where I'm from. The clay road, the banks on the side. There's like a thousand roads that I go down that look just like this. Let's see. Beauty berries, but somewhere up here is a pawpaw. This is a different video, isn't it? <laughs> walking around just looking, you finally get to see what it's like when I'm walking around. There we go. So here's your fruit. Not ripe yet. Still pretty hard. And just uh, hope for me. Hope that that equipment doesn't get these guys. Because I'm looking on the ground too. And there's another cluster up there, and I know that they're probably not ripe. But I promised I'd do another video for y'all, and so here I am. There's another spot I'm going to check, and hopefully the fruit will be ripe there, or that spot's not going to get plowed down. That spot's kind of off in the woods. It's real dark. This is just the side of the road. I'm sure this plant that we're looking at has been mowed down a hundred times. You know, that's how pawpaws are. Anybody who's from Florida will agree with me. They really seem to like a good fire. They like to be cut down and, uh, and they'll grow back just fine. But when we're out here trying to look for fruit, it's definitely disheartening. You kind of wish it wasn't going to happen. But if it does, you know, three years from now, it'll probably be exactly like it is right now. I better cut this short. I'm just kind of rambling. And we'll see if I can do maybe a little bit better video. But I will continue to come back here. Um, to see if the fruit is ripe because I'd love to do that for y'all. 
That way we can get that time frame. At the moment, it's been 22 days since that first video. Thank you for watching. Tune back in next time. Y'all take care.